Hello everyone. So oh, I don't know why I should like close my doors before starting my video, but oh well. So messy backdrop, cat tree, big giant dog panting in the background, per huge. Um, I thought that I would share some empty products because I found this bag of garbage as one does in their bathroom, you know? Um, I know that like my, <laughs> my usual empties bag got thrown away and it's so devastating, right? But no, actually it, it, it's probably for the best because it's like a bag of trash in my bathroom. But, um, yeah, I had a whole bunch of like wax empties and some actual makeup products that I had finished up lately, which, you know, that's like surprising. We rarely finish up things in this house. No, I've gotten better, but, um, this was a bag that I had no idea was in my cupboard. Uh, so I thought that I would share what's in here. And of course there was plenty more, but like who, who would lose a bag like this in the cupboard? It's funny because it was in there and I have looked at it a few times and it, just sat there and then once I realized what it was I was like oh I'll just go through this and empty out my trash but I'm going to take this bag a trash bag and empty into there and then um I can separate the recycling out as well too so it's really nice that like this sounds so stupid but we have like most places have this it's a luxury apparently but like the curbside recycling but they also take like Please stop that. Thank you. I can't take that noise. We also have like, um, they do the cardboard. Okay, that's a protest. <laughs> um, the cardboard and um, aluminum. Oh my God. Do you wanna hear something really stupid I did at work the other day? Like, okay, okay. So I'm a nurse in case you didn't know, I'm sure you do if you watch my channel at any at any frequency because I have talked about it and my suffering of going to school. Um, but so <laughs> I work in the ICU and we also have, um, we take care of patients, we're a very small hospital, but we take care of patients who are in between ICU and um, like medical surgical status. So they're called PCU patients. And so this patient had just come over from the medical surgical side and the patient's daughter asked, what's PCU stand for? And I just completely had this huge brain. Oof. I mean, granted, it was the middle of the night. It was like two in the morning. And they rushed over there and they ended up being just fine. But I'm like, mm, I don't know. And she's like, what do you mean you don't know? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. But I I feel really stupid right now. I know it's the status in between like I see you and medical surgical and it's transitional care but I forget what it's called and then so I'm like doing this man's you know assessment and vital signs and all of a sudden I just shout out progressive it's progressive care like what is wrong with me this woman probably thought I was the biggest idiot but I mean look I am assessing your dad and giving him good care I just don't know where I work at two in the morning so I mean that's so embarrassing so anyway <laughs> Don't you start with me. I know. She knows I'm an idiot too. Can you please lay down? Don't you start. Okay. So, no, sit down. Go lay down. There's rabbits outside and she wants, she wants to go chase them. Can you please stop? Please stop. Go lay down. Go. I'm going to shut you out of here if you don't. So these are my empty things. And, uh, sure, I'm stop. We're going to go through them. So, these are always in here. But Dr. Teal's, these are the, what are these? Uh, Soothe and sleep with lavender. Jim, stop, dude. I use these all the time. And sticking with that, I also have a uh, Clarify and Smooth Foaming Bath. I love my bathtub. Go lay down, please. And if you've seen these empties before, like in my previous empties videos, these are not the same ones. I just use these all the time. Go lay down, please. Go. I'm not letting you out to go chase the floor. Go. Right now. Um, some of these are boring and I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to show what's ever in here because I'm not even sure anymore. So some deodorant, just secret lavender. I don't know. I'm a sweaty person. I've tried all the natural ones. I'm too sweaty. And also Native gave me a head to toe, like literally head to toe, full body rash where I had to go to the 
emergency room and get a Benadryl IV. I mean, I could have gone anywhere and got a Benadryl IV. It was just where I was at, but I had to get an IV of Benadryl to get rid of these head to toe um, hives. So I just, I guess I'll just apparently have cancer because I can't go away from aluminum deodorants. Um, this is Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day Pear Tree scent. This smells really nice. I really like the pear tree. I wonder if I can still smell it. It's like, um, I mean, there is a pear scent, but it's also just a little bit, a little bit floral. So like, it's just, I don't know, it's a soft and it's a nice, it's a nice scent. I really like that. Um, my husband said that it reminded him, I'm gonna move this bag up here so I don't have to look at the floor. So, I mean, if you can see the corner, sorry. My husband said that it reminded him of his mom and he's like, it was just too close to my mom. So he didn't like that one that much. I guess there are a couple of makeup products. I hope that I didn't already show these previously, but I am not going to go back and watch my old videos. Here's another deodorant. This is a clinical strength secret. Um, like I said, you can actually see the emptiness. I get really sweaty and I don't want to at work especially, so I wear deodorant <laughs> with chemicals on. I don't know, I'm sorry, but sometimes I just have to. Okay. Also, what else we got in here? Um, let's see. Um, Essence Lash Princess. I have probably used... <clears throat> Apparently, I'm going to go through puberty in this video as well. So I've also used probably, what is this, May? Four of these so far this year? Three? I don't know. I'm not all that great about keeping up with how often you're supposed to throw out um, mascaras. And I've been trying out a couple more. Like, this is, a, this is my go-to, but I've been trying out a couple more mascaras this year, which is unusual, but my favorite. And I just, as a hint, if you have tried this and you don't like it, that's cool. But um, sometimes I open one, use it, and I'm like, nah, and I'll set it aside for a couple weeks. And then I come back to it and I'm like, oh, okay, that's better. So I think sometimes it just has to sit. Um, another product that I have used up, I may have talked about this. Maybe I didn't post it. I don't know. I'm, I'm forgetful. So <laughs> um, the True Match Lumi Bronze It. I just talked about this one in my previous favorites, but this is one that I broke apparently and um there is still some product on the side here but when I was using it it's like more pan than product so my brush would you know when you like start making a mess of your brush trying to get product and it's just not worth it anymore but like I think this is the second one I've used up which is really impressive because until a couple years ago I never used bronzer ever like I didn't really see the point and I love this. I use it all the time, daily, as you can see. So is this the light as well? Mm, does it say? Oh, it's literally right there on the front. So yeah, the light, the light shade is perfect for me because I'm like deceptively pale. Like when I go get found, I mean, I, I obviously look pale, especially here too, because I also have the window open, but when I go get foundation, um, they always try to hand me like they're like you know people try to help you when you go to the like Ulta or the Sephora and they're like oh I don't think you need the lightest shade so they'll hand me you know not dark obviously but they'll hand me like you know a medium or like a couple shades and I'm like no nah, I don't think that's gonna work so I am literally like in all of the ones either the first shade or the second shade like I am light and even in, I don't know where it is, I just used it. But yeah, like in my, in Estee Lauder, I think I'm the first shade. So I'm, I'm pretty fair. I think that FedEx may have just shown up. I don't like FedEx, but that's an aside. And I think maybe the dog will start barking at that too. So I'm going to apologize. I'll just apologize for them in general because they're very loud. Um, the products and we're just going to talk about scents. I, I remember saying that I was going to separate everything, but I'm just going to talk about it here. Oh, here's one more. This is really old, um, but I just finished it up and there was nothing wrong with it. So this is something Wicca This Way comes from mm, Fortune Cookie Soap and it's a foaming sugar scrub. So I mean, you can see what it used to look like. It was pink and it had these little exfoliate here, little exfoliating beads. 
I don't rem remember the scent notes in here, but it was like, it still smells really good. It was a really sweet, like, like a subtly sweet, I don't know. I don't know. It smelled really good. And I liked this. I am also really bad about using my exfoliating products in the bath. I forget or I start off like, you know, I have those tea tree, tea tree, tree hut sugar scrubs as well that I really like. And I just forget. I don't know. So I really liked this and I would purchase it again. It lasted a long time and the scent on my skin would last, but it wasn't overpowering. So sometimes, you know, you know, I'd use this and then later on in the day, I'd be like, mm, I still smell nice, but it wasn't like it would, it would compete. Oh my God. Compete with my perfumes or anything. It was just nice. I should have got, I wonder, I don't even remember. That was a while ago. I should have got like the full range of that. So I could have had a spray and a lotion. There's another one of those. So I wonder, oh, this is, this is really old. So it's not, Oh, that's nice. So like that's the spoolie. That doesn't look nasty. Nasty. I think I have two more of these and I buy a lot of them and then I put them in my fridge and I don't know if that's weird but my husband thinks it's really weird. He's like, mm, I mascara in there. Look at it. There's another makeup in here. This is, um, oh yeah, this is a Believe foundation. This is from Dollar General um, in the shade, again, really pale linen. Linen. So we don't have, this look, it's funny, it looks dark on here. We don't have a Dollar General near me. The closest one I think that I know of is at least an hour away, 50 minutes. But so I got this one day when I took Papaya to the vet and I had to drop her off. She was having um, surgery, I guess a surgery, a procedure on her ear. And so I kind of just was trying to kill time and not my poor papaya but she's she's fine her she's totally fine and so I went to Dollar General just because I wanted to try this and I actually really liked it it's um a really nice foundation and I would totally get it again it's just kind of far but maybe next time we drive through there we have one in Rockaway Beach which is a, which is a really nice town area in Oregon so I would yeah I'm sure there's something like Salem but who wants to go to shitty Salem not me um Here's another mascara. It's also okay. Here's something. Okay, this is from. I didn't like this. This is another one in the Lash Princess line. This is Curl and Volume. Is there anything special with this? No. And it was fine. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't like the other one. This is a CBD balm. I got this at like. What is that store? I'm having. See, this is what happens. Like a complete brain fog. But anyway. I got this inside of a regular retail store and I actually liked that or liked this product. It's from somebody, Irwin Naturals. I don't know, 500 milligrams of cannabis oil. Usually when I find these things, they're just kind of shitty and like you may as well just rub a regular balm on yourself. But this was actually really nice. The balm was nice and it felt nice and maybe it was placebo, but I don't know. It worked on muscle aches. I've had better but I've definitely had much worse. By Mart, that's what it's called. The store. So, I'm gonna start talking about like fragrance empties, I think. This, what is this? Oh, I guess this is a bath, this isn't a fragrance. I thought it was um a wax, but this was um bath salts from Foxfire Collection. Uh, it's called Wit and Learning. Smells like Forget-Me-Nots, Fresh Parchment, and Wisdom. This was nice. It was just kind of expensive. Yeah, it smells really nice. It still smells really nice. Like, uh, the scent is really nice. It's a light, floral, earthy scent. Um, ooh, I would purchase this again, but it's it's pretty expensive, if I remember correctly. I also got some candles. Um, they're Woodwick candles, and... I didn't like them that much. They were cute. The packaging is cute, but the candle scents didn't last very long. And one of them I could never light. So I just, eh, and I, the customer service was really good. Like I spoke with the owner and she was super nice. Like she was willing to make it work, but it, I don't know, maybe I'll give them a second chance in the future. Like when I'm actively purchasing candles, 
So maybe maybe I will purchase again. I don't know. I always say, oh, I'm going to purchase again, and then I do. Um, let's get rid of all this noisy. So I got this candle at Safeway. <laughs> this is apple ginger toddy, baked apple ginger, and bourbon. So apparently this is old. This is like from Christmas, and it smells okay. I can still smell it in here. It just, it's like, you know, when you get those retail candles, and they kind of smell medium it did burn nicely I mean you can see here it burned almost all the way down it just was not very strong it reminded me a lot I think this is like I don't think this is just a soy candle yeah soy blend but it just reminded me like I know soy candles are better for you or whatever but it doesn't it didn't really have any scent throw it's all right this is from Glade oh my gosh it's so dusty um, this is something. I couldn't tell you. It might have been that vanilla one. I can't remember, but it was a Glade and it was nice. And actually, I like these Glade candles. Sometimes they can be a little hit and miss, but the ones that are hits are like really good. Uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of like, look at how steady this one is. This is Warm Rustic Woods from Better Homes and Gardens. Tobacco, cedar, patchouli, pink peppercorns, smoked nutmeg, mandarin leaf, vanilla bean, and tonka. That smells good. It smells really clean, but like, look at all that. That's a lot. It burned nicely here. Like, it burned really far down. And then I just remember, like, the wick went, like, it, ex like, you can see it, it exploded. And then, yeah. But it never got smoky. It's still, actually, the wax smells really fresh and clean in there. So, that was nice. Funny seeing all these because I'm like, oh, I don't remember this. But it's um, Cozy Weekend from Homeworks. Cozy Woods, Roasted Almond, Clover, Honey, and Vanilla. This is from Ulta. This, it was okay. I remember burning this in my office and it looked at it burned nicely. It was okay. It's just very light. This glass. Sometimes I save these. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to show this. This is so, this is yucky. Um, this was a Glade candle. Oh my gosh, this takes, this is like nostalgic and I don't really know. This is that, I can't remember. Cashmere Woods, Woods something. And it smells really good. It's really like homey and nice and sweet. I like this Glade candle. This one throws here. You can see it here. Amazing. I like that one. My husband likes that one too. Oh, a makeup product. Natural Taupe Stay Put Brow from Milani. I don't think that I actually, oh, look at I did. I finished the whole thing. This used to be my holy grail of all brow products. And I went through like, I don't even know, at least seven. But I haven't been able to find the taupe shade. I can only find like brown and it's just too dark. And I am coloring my hair at the moment red. Look how thin it is right now. That makes me sad. But anyway. Um, so the brown isn't working for me anyway. I would still use this taupe color if I could find it, but look at, I still have the, I actually still use the little brush it came with for a different product. I like the little brush. I liked that product, but the brown is just not for me. Um, yeah, so I guess in other news, in other home scent news, Bora Bora Waters. So I really like these Febreze plugins, these ones, and I saved just one of these to show. The ones that have the dual and I guess there's a little bit in here but these work so well and they last a long time and I like almost all of the scents I've tried so I've tried like a berry one a watermelon one a peach one I've tried so many and they last a really long time and you can actually smell them um yeah I actually ordered I placed an order from Target today for they had the cutest dress and it was like five bucks so I ordered that and then I ordered three more scents um like a lilac, a mountain one, and I think I reordered watermelon maybe. So I, I I like these a lot. We always have these in our bathrooms. We have two bathrooms. And I throw one in the office too, because that door does or that room doesn't that door. That room doesn't get used very often. Um Skylar Vanilla Sky. I just remember that this smelled really nice, but like I would spray it on and it was gone within five minutes. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, there we go. Excuse me. I have been sneezing a lot today. I'm not a big sneezer, but we had 
a lot of wins yesterday and it must have stirred up something. So I went and picked up allergy medication today and uh, it's definitely helped. Uh, from Sensi, pink rhubarb sugar. This was given to me by somebody. I don't purchase from Sensi, but this smelled nice. Um, it's really strong and it smells kind of like Kool-Aid, like a, a rhubarb has that kind of, it's sweet, but it has the kind of bitter note. I don't know. And we used to grow a lot of rhubarb before the fire. And so uh, one of the women I worked with during my capstone gave that to me. So that was really nice. And it smelled really good too. And then vanilla waves. I, I, I look really weird. I'm like sticking my head in this bag. This one had a weird funk. Like it smells sweet and vanilla-y, but there's like a, it almost smells rotten. So I don't like stale. I don't like that one. I wouldn't order that one uh, again. But I, this one is one like, I, I again, I said, I don't really order Scentsy. Bonfire Beach, I love this scent. I've probably had 20 of these over the last 10 years. So I don't know. I love that scent. It's salty and it's sweet and it's actually, it actually smells like marshmallows and kind of like, like wood sticks. I don't know if that makes sense, but it smells really good. I would definitely purchase that one. And it's different from On Fire Beach from Bath and Body Works. I like that better. Uh, I think the rest of these are all vendor wax. Let's see. I'm, I'm a liar. Better Homes and Gardens is in here too. White pumpkin and sage. This was actually like like a clean fall scent and I really liked this and I remember my hum my humsend he liked it too I'm not okay guys um rainy spring day I love this scent I buy these all the time whenever I go to Walmart they actually like you can smell the there's a cologne note I guess but you can also smell the like botanicals it actually smells like being outside I like that one a whole lot um, from super tart remus mahogany teakwood cardamom apple rum cake this smells nice it smells like a fall scent um I like the little cardamom and cakiness I don't really care for rum but it's not too strong it's just a little bit um I don't like this one. Wizard, toasted marshmallow, warm musk, cedar, amber, campfire, and cinnamon sticks. It doesn't smell like any of those things except for like cinnamon and Aaron didn't like it either. He's like, I don't like, he doesn't really comment much except for he's like, don't, I don't like that one. It, it, I don't know. There was just something. I wonder if I can, let's see. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It just, there's a scent. I don't, I don't like it. So no um the conjuring cappuccino cream cheese frosting butterscotch whipped cream this smells really good it smells like a sweet cappuccino or a sweet coffee where the coffee is still really strong and bold i like this one a lot um coffee can be i'm gonna actually take a sip this don't judge my mcdonald's it was free and it's hazelnut and it's so good um coffee can be really hit and miss for me like sometimes when i melt it it's like oh bleh. but that that's a good one lucky lemons lo uh, lemon custard sweetened cereal marshmallows sugary milk it smells so good it's just lemons and lucky charms basically that's exactly what it smells like i'm out of this one and i'm sad but here it is it smells delicious another better homes and gardens sweet watermelon buttercream hi jam I think I've had this one too, probably 20 times. It smells, it's very like, I don't know. It's very basic. It smells like watermelon frosting and it smells delicious. And when Aaron's kids are here, they're always like, can you melt the watermelon one? So I don't know. They don't even sound like that anymore. They're like, can you melt the watermelon one? <laughs> but it smells, okay. Well, I'm not going to let you out to chase them. It smells so good. Please stop. Um, It's funny because Jem never barks, so... I'm gonna make a video and Jem's gonna bark. Butternut pumpkin. Um, Aaron used to make soy melts and candles. And this is one of the, I think this is the last one we have. Maybe we have one more, but he made this. And it smells really good. It's just a sweet, it doesn't really smell like pumpkin. It smells like squash. 
I mean, obviously butternut, but it's a sweet squash smell, which kind of sounds weird, but it's, it's a light throw. So I, I like heavier throws, but when we want the house to smell sweet without being overpowering, I always throw in his melts and they smell really good. I mean, not to be a biased person, but, um, better homes and gardens, lavender lemonade. This smells really nice. It's sweet and it smells like lemonade with just a little bit of that herbally lavender, uh, Spike banana mixed berries laundry. I love this. <laughs> it smells like runts, banana, and laundry, and just a little bit of berries, but mostly runts, bananas, and laundry. The la oh, no, it's not. And there's another one of those but uh, watermelon buttercreams from Better Home in the Gardens. Um, Impossible Girl cappuccino birthday cake and sponge sugar. Oh, yeah, I like this one a lot too. I had to, I had to make sure it was this one. It's like a cotton candy latte, which sounds, I'm sure those exist, but I've never had one and it smells so good. I love this. Like I would melt this most days. I don't like coffee when it's really hot outside because it's too much, but I love that smell. And I think these last ones, yeah, I don't even know. So, oh, fake and bake. I have a, bake, a bam bag. Yeah, a bam bag of this. Um, we all know fake and bake, I think. It smells like you're baking delicious edible bakery foods um it actually kind of is I like this one because it actually kind of has like a savory note I think there's zucchini bread underneath or mi underneath mixed in so you kind of get that like just wafting through it it's really good to keep it from just being overpoweringly sweet Cujo I don't remember the notes of this but it smells oh my gosh it smells like nothing. No, it smells really good. Um, I remember liking this. I, it's also a bakery scent. I am sorry. I'm really bad. I'm a bad person because I don't know the notes. Orange is the new black. I don't think that, yeah, these have, I have, usually I can smell the wax in here, but this has no smell. I don't think that I liked this one too well. Um, I think it's a citrus because the label is citrus, but I used it all, so I couldn't have hated it. Okay. Um, fall apple dumplings from Empire Alchemy. Hazelnut donuts, fresh coffee, crisp leaves, dried apple. This is okay. It's like, um, I mean, it's obviously it's a fall set, but it's like this one I didn't get a lot of throw out of and it, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Can you please stop? This should have been a very strong scent to me because of the like coffee and hazelnuts. And if you don't know, Oregon grows a lot of hazelnuts. So I've been trying to be like, ooh, hazelnuts because I live here now. No, but I'm just kidding. Um, So it, it was okay. It smelled mostly of just like, apples and coffee and it was nice it was just light can you oh, can you please stop this was a little like from nene's kitchen melts pumpkin cookies and it was like this little st stick of melts um it was really strong and it smelled really good i don't really remember much of it except for that it was a bakery scent and it smelled good um l3 waxy wonders fresh picked strawberries pink chiffon boom boom so right after the fire we were staying in that condo. I ordered from L3. It was like, I don't know, a sad order. That's it, by the way. It was like a sad order. And she had a really good, like large, ready to ship, I think. And I remember ordering and I got all these things to melt while I was staying there. And none of it threw. And I just remember being really sad because I like L3 a whole lot. She's one of my favorite vendors. But like the entire order, none of it had any throw. And now it's been mm, two and a half years-ish since. Oh, okay, it's not a knot, it's just weird. Sorry, it's been like two and a half years and I'm still melting that stuff. And I'm just now, it's so weird. Cause like by two years, you're like, oh, it's dud, you know, dead, throw it away. But now I'm getting a throw and it's still not very strong. Like I've had stuff from her, I've been buying from her for a long time. And actually now that we're here, it's not very far. You know, I don't think she's open to the public right now, but I could just go there and pick up wax. But anyway, so it's like, I've had stuff of hers where I would melt it in my bathroom and it would come out into the living room and be like, oh, it smells so good. But it's just all this entire order is just so light. And just the other day I threw something in the bathroom and it, I forgot what it was. You know, when I came back in, I'm like, oh, that smells so good. It was like 
sweet and complex. I'm like, gosh, what is that? And it was one of these L3 things from two years ago. But I just remember at first being so disappointed because I'm like, I smell nothing. So I can't, I don't know if I can even be like, I didn't like this because I burnt, I burnt, I melt this entire shape. I think it was one of those like flower bars. I don't remember what they're called, but the, the big thick bars that she has, they're about yay big and they have flowers on the top. And it smells so good in here. The strawberry is so nice. And the pink chiffon, of course, is just sweet. And the boom boom, I don't know. I'm not really crazy about that scent, but it's, it smells nice mixed in. I think I just want to like boom boom cream because it has that pistachio, boom boom scent, cream, whatever, because it has that pistachio note. I, I don't know. I just don't think it's for me. But it is a nice melter. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to reserve my judgment on that one. But anyways, I think that's all my empty trash and my surprise gar surprise garbage bag that's so weird what is this can I throw this in here too oh yeah here I used up a scent of or a sample of Edol and I don't like it so I gave it to my mom and she likes it so yeah there another trash another trash is that it here I'll throw this away too I built a Lego okay there now I have cleaned up my trash and I have shared my trash with you so if you have any recommendations questions comments concerns anything at all um, if my dogs bother you, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, they're good girls. But anyway, um, anything at all, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching.